Hello and welcome back to Tia's Coloring Chronicles. This is the I Got Crafty Edition. So I've made two of these storage units with stuff I mostly found around the house with the exception of the cups. Um, and the cups came from Walmart and they're the Halloween cups and you got like four for a dollar. And I've hot glued them in there. And this box is just a photo box kind of thing and I already had this laying around the house and I've hot glued it down here at kind of an angle because I wanted them kind of up so they wouldn't fall out and this actually gives it a pretty good base and then I hot glued it down there the cups are hot glued in and then because I wanted even more height and like I said I used mostly stuff I found around the house I had these old um jewelry boxes <laughs> that you get for like a gift um so I hot glued those down there and I like the end result pretty much and you just pop your pencils in there and then they sit up all nice and pretty um and I did this because I noticed when I had my pencils and markers in a book I didn't reach for them and um I, there were just sets I wasn't using now I don't have my Prismas colors in here because when I use my Prismacolors I use just my Prismacolors but the other ones the Chlorels the Black Widow some of the um Fiber Castell Gold Fabers and the suede style which are actually my husband's pencils I kind of nabbed from him I put in here and so they can all work together and I'll actually use them as opposed to them just sitting in books I also made I'll go ahead and show you excuse the desk I know it's not the, the easiest most glorified thing around but it is what it is and then I made this one over here for my water markers and my I don't know I guess I have some that are dye based I don't know the difference if anyone does leave a comment below because I don't know the difference between what's a dye base and what's a water base so I have the distressed I have the La Plume 2 which by the way are my favorites thus far and I have the the Sioux color markers which I use sometimes um and then I have pit pins down here simply because like all the colors wouldn't fit in there and they were just a little short and kind of got lost in the bunch so I don't I didn't put my pit pins in there I just kind of have them laying out here um so and then over here so I'm just I guess I'm this has moved on from I was crafty to let me show you how I store stuff um, and then over here we have, this was not planned by the way, I didn't actually plan to show you how I stored everything. These are all my alcohol markers, so these are my, um, Ohuhu markers, and then I have my Spectrum Noirs, and my Bix. And my, let's see if I can nab one, Sharpies. And those are really, and this is actually just um, a storage container. And I took all, I had my husband take off the lid to it. And it works fabulously. And then over here, this is obviously my pencils that are for a project I'm working on. I'm working on, um... I'll show you here in a minute um and then I have gel pens over here and I originally was starting this video with it on my little um video arm I guess is what you want to call it but it wasn't getting a good shot of my craftiness my reuse reduce recycle craftiness because I'm so proud of it um it looks I mean, it looks janky and homemade, but, you know, it 
works for me and it serves its purpose. There is, who who did it? Hold on, let me think. There is one I want to make, like a storage marker pencil kind of um, homemade container. And I want to say Nerdy Crafter. I want to say the Nerdy Crafter made one and it was out of PVC pipes that you build up like a pyramid. And I am going to make that one. But it's going to take me a few months to um, get through school and get some funds and I would probably really do it in the spring because I really want to paint it and I think I'm going to spray paint it um so yeah so it's not a right away a project but it is on the list not that I actually have a physical list but I have the mental list and that's what important and so these are the work in progress these are the gel pens I'm not a big gel pen person honestly um so and then watch blinding light there's one of the lights I used to film and there's the other light I used to film and then all my books are right beside me now not all these are coloring books like where does the coloring book start here coloring books start here and then this whole thing is coloring books those are my prismacolors um that's my, over there, those little post-it notes are my countdown till when school's over. And then this stuff up here is just random craft stuff. And then these right here are water pencils. And then I have some acrylic paints in there. I have hairspray that I use as a setter for, um, let me think, a setter for pastels. And I have some water colored paints in this box right here too. And it is a cluttered mess. I mean, like if you look, like my desk is, um, I'll just show you. It's a thing of beauty over there. Let me look at that. I mean, to be fair, I did take those pencils out just to do this video because I thought it was going to be a smart idea and it obviously did not work out that way. But I have my Sense Goldfish crackers over there. There's a computer over there. There's a... <laughs> My tablet's kind of just thrown over there. My hand lotion. There's paint all over this. Um, there's the... Um, candle holder. And then I have this mason jar that I kind of am filling up with. And don't ask me why. But <laughs> I've been filling up this ma old tattered mason jar full of... Sympathy. See? I mean, kind of pretty in there, I guess. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> that's what I do with my mace, with my, I don't know what I'm going to do with them afterwards, like maybe take it camping and use it as kindling, who knows. And then over here we got my makeup brushes that I use for pastels and my eyeshadows when I do grayscale. I have a, my second favorite pencil sharpener ever right there. I have candy that my son so lovingly gave to me for Halloween. Um, my favorite pencil sharpener right here, which is this Fiber Castell one. I like this one. I almost need a new one. It's starting to get a little dull. Um, paint brushes. These paint brushes, I will let you know right now. I got these from, uh, who does fine touch? Help me out here, people. Hobby Lobby. I got these from Hobby Lobby and they are freaking crap. So don't get them. Like, look at that. I've used them once and I can just like, like, it's just going to pull out. See, it's just, so I let my son use those to watercolor with, you know, those little paint by those little um, pictures kids do where they put it in water and like the colors are already there. They just have to add water to That's what he likes to do. So, and then I got these from Joann's and I haven't used them yet. But I plan on it, but they seem like already like they're higher quality. So we'll give them a shot. Anyway, this did not turn out to be the video that I intended it to be. Oh, and this right here, the little black marks are sets I own. So these are the sets I still need. Um, but I really like the Spectrum Noirs. So this did not turn out to be the video I expected it to be. I expected it just to be the, I got crafty video. Instead, it's like, hey, look at my mess. Look at my mess. Woo. 
Yep. It's, uh, this is where all the color and magic happens. Everything's right where I can reach it. I don't have, to be fair, I don't have a lot of space in my house where I can spread things out. Like, this little corner of the world is it. This is it. This is what I got to work with, people. This little corner of the world right here. Um, which is more than my husband gets, to be fair. My husband doesn't even have a corner of the world, I guess. Um, but... This is where I do the schoolwork. This is where I do the coloring. But anyway, now you guys. Oh, and this little tin right here. I forgot about this little tin. This little tin right here. This little tin was actually truffles that was given to me by my aunt for Christmas years and years ago. And these are my marker or my. Marker refines, refines, whatever. So, I have those in there. And then, oh, I have some stickles down there too. I don't know if you can see them. But there's some stickles down there. There's one distressed ink. I think I actually have two distressed inks. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to wrap it up here. And as always, Oh, I'll show you the picture I'm working on real quick because I'm scattered today, man. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. I had to stay over a little bit at work, but that's fine. Like, it happens sometimes in healthcare. Um, but I am working on just, and I'm not doing this, like, hardcore, going to get it all done right away kind of deal. That's not how this is going. Um, but I'm kind of working on this picture in the... And I'm doing it like really slow because I'm trying to get the details right. Usually I'd be all like rebellious and be like, I'm going to do it how I want to. But I'm trying really hard to kind of follow, follow along here just to see if I can. I'll probably get tired of it and eventually just do my own thing. But hey, eh, let's say I made an effort. But I'm doing this picture right now. But I'm not doing it um, all at once. So I like work on it a little bit and then I go do something else some other coloring and then I come back and do a little bit more um because I'm finding this very very um tedious and time consuming and more stressful than fun and when I color I don't want it to be stressful I want it to be fun but I've challenged myself to do it so I will um but anyway that's what these pencils right here are for is for this picture and then I have this tin right here that I will use for whatever picture or project that I work on when I'm not working on this. So, anyway, that's it. Um, until we meet again, live well. Bye.